All right, you guys, Chris here, Ben in the video, and today uh, I put this post out about a week ago. Uh, in fact, it was on a Tuesday, and I basically said, "What are your wish lists, or what are your wishes for Forza Motorsport 7?" And uh, I'm not gonna repeat the same comment because literally every single comment had something to do with the customization. So I'll just go into more of the details of it, basically. Uh, so we'll start off here. Indicators. Yes, we we do need indicators. We need indicators. A lot in this game but it's probably useful to have indicators in this game and who knows maybe there'll be some different game modes and stuff and yes we need toyota again basically all right now more customization options obviously that is the big one here so all the other comments are gonna have stuff to do with customization basically uh, not all of them but uh this uh sv pro says in japan mountain roads some drift tracks angle mods spacers now that is obviously a lot to do with drifting and we'll, we won't know where the like we can't really wish for a location because they don't listen to what location we wish on because who knows they have probably already started making the game so you can't really like they can't just change a new location uh they they probably have already started it just because it's it's not even that far away i mean it's like seven months or something like that so i doubt we're gonna be able to uh wish for location uh, i like this one from jmr cheese 2001 we get to vote on what cars are in the car packs and more and way more customization uh obviously i like the idea of voting on the car packs but this is more of not a forza horizon 4 this is more of just forza in general uh but i really do like this one i just don't think they're gonna do it though because it's car packs are all about marketing and stuff all right here is one from drift i guess it says drifter uh, more body kits neon lights custom interior designs custom wheels seats more cars futuristic cars realistic prices great maps drift spots motorbikes and customization uh yeah this is a uh, more customization i mean i do like this but I, we're not going to get everything we asked for. And just like Shiny On said back in his uh, trailer video, um, we don't want to overhype this game because then we'll be disappointed. Uh, KCS Killer says more engine options, maybe different transmission options with different number of gears. I do like this one, maybe some realistic transmissions, who knows. Maybe uh, I had this idea, maybe that a automatic transmission would actually shift by its like like there would be because right now all there is is sport transmission and race transmission you can go manual on both of them or automatic on both of them so i think it'd be cool if there wasn't a setting for it if if it was just like if it was just like you upgraded it to manual if that makes sense uh jacob wilson says actual racetracks on the map like on the crew now this one's going to depend on location but this is true i liked how on the crew you know it's still free realm you can go across the entire united states but there's there's certain tracks uh obviously there was the sebring in florida and there were some other ones in other places where you could just test out your car because it's like that in real life you know there's there's tracks in real life where you can test out your car and stuff so i think that'd be really cool it says control over windshield wipers windows blinkers lights etc now i think this is a little too much keep in mind there's not a whole lot of buttons on a controller when you're playing on the xbox and basically every button's already taken except some like even the d-pad's taken already so at this point, you know, how are we even, how do we even like control this? There'd have to be like a menu, like where you press down on the D-pad and go through and go like each section, windows, lights. I think that's a little too much. I don't think they're going to do that. All right, car guy, I like both of your things here. More steering angle and then car guy yet again. Basically this whole thing, nitro. Who knows about nitro? I think that's kind of a need for speed thing. I'm not sure if they'll put nitro in this game. More stance, more drift spots and more trucks. Uh, I do see there being a lot more trucks in this game. Drift spots, once again, they're going to depend on where it is, but I'm pretty sure they're going to implement that. But there's more than just the drift community on this game. Uh, remember, there's a drag race community. People are asking for stuff like that. There's the racing community. People might not want drift spots. So you have to think when you're the developer, you kind of have to think about the other uh, communities as well. All right, Nick Ward. This is my favorite comment. We need to have bikes and the option to turn your engine off. I feel like they would do the engine off thing because that wouldn't be that hard. It, that would just be like one button or who knows you know maybe maybe a really cool thing would be you go into first person maybe there'd be a whole another set of controls like where you do the blinker the window uh windshield wipers turn your engine off and then maybe when you're in third person be a different set of controls i really do like that and i think bikes will be in this game 
there's been we've been wanting bikes forever so all right michael says more diesels i do agree with this one i like i sure like diesel trucks but there there weren't enough heck there weren't even a lot of trucks in the game the, the only three trucks i can remember is the f-150 all the different trims with that uh the ranger and the ram runner those are like the only three trucks i can remember from that game so yeah we definitely need more trucks than diesels uh another one from michael when you change the exhaust it changes the sound of your car uh i think this one would be under the tab of being realistic because i think i think that this needs to happen because there's literally no point in upgrading your exhaust except to get you know 14 more horsepower or whatever it is i think it's 14. so like there needs to be a change to the look or the change to the sound or heck even both that's not even hard to do uh garrett says easy stuff that does not need licensing head tail lights and de-chroming we already speaked about the tail lights and headlights but de-chroming i feel like uh especially a lot of the cars last game people were always like uh, wanting to de-chrome them so i feel like we could use the de-chroming in this game it'd be really useful and once again that's not a hard thing for them to do and i hope turn 10 does see this video but i doubt it but there's a lot of good stuff in here it says able to put different wheels in the front of the car and in the back of the car once again not a hard one to do and i feel like people wouldn't abuse this either uh I think it depends it can be really ugly but uh i don't know when anybody would ever do this but i guess for customization stuff i don't know i, I would never do that unless it was for a video or something all right this one from pkm says the game should have mountain roads more cars more car customization interior customization maybe take place in japan or the alps so mountain roads we already speak about everything the only thing we didn't speak here is interior customization i feel like that'd be pretty cool too but then again it's not it's not going to be something huge it's not going to be a priority for them because it's just another it's another customization thing jay mccarthy says smoother off-roading now i'm gonna go and say the exact opposite i felt like on forza horizon 3 the off-roading was too smooth and off-roading is supposed to be off-roading it's not supposed to be smooth i feel like we should have more uh dips in the altitude and more holes in the land and stuff like that on off-road parts I think it needs it was so like you could easily just stay straight and go and not flip or do anything in the off-road even on the dunes so I think we need to have a lot rougher off-roading all right WR3K design says more playground games uh, I think they will do this I'm not sure uh, but playground games is kind of their uh, trademark on this game and I believe that uh, they're gonna want to upgrade that I did like the flag rush. I did like uh, the infection and king and all that. I don't know what else they can add in there, but they might be able to do a couple game modes. Who knows? Uh, but I could see this happening. Maybe more locations. Four was good on the last game, or maybe they'll get it to five. I don't know. All right, this one mis misguided line says four wheel drive area designed to test your vehicle's off road capabilities, such as rock climbing. I see this in real life. I don't think it's gonna go in the game. Uh, maybe it could be. A cool thing you do in just the garage i'm not sure uh but i doubt this is gonna happen but it's a pretty cool idea all right this one from uh trishel uh 1209 a kind of separate garage feel like gta where you have to go to the shop to customize now i feel like uh they wouldn't do this just because gta does this and i i would not like this because it's just another extra step just like in gta like if you if you want to upgrade your car you know you got to go all the way to the place and stuff like that so i don't think they'll do this so that's the end of the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this kind of a this one took a very long time to do so uh make sure you guys like the video we're aiming for 21 likes here share this maybe you can go to uh turn 10 i doubt it but who knows always give it a try so then guys see you next time like subscribe man peace